How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite and today we are having a look at the Argon 1 version 2 for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now of course the Argon 1 is made by the good folks at Argon 40. They were kind enough to send us over for this video so big shout out to Argon 40. Now of course the main selling point for the Argon 1 is the dedicated PCB that reorients the I.O. of the Raspberry Pi 4. They have done the same uh, with this case, but instead now we have two full-size HDMI ports. So let's get this out of the box, have a look at it, and get it set up with our Raspberry Pi 4. All right. Wrapped up nicely. What else is in here? Instruction manual. Now, of course, you need the instruction booklet to get the fan script running, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. That's all that's in the box. All right. So, Argon 1, version 2. There's your two full-size HDMI ports, Type-C for power, headphone jack, and all the rest of your cutouts for I.O. <laughs> now here's a side-by-side -side look at the M.2 version and the regular version 2 of the Argon 1. And the obvious difference being the M.2 version has a bigger basement for your SATA SSDs, whereas the regular version 2 still supports SD cards. So in the front of the version 2 case, you still have that cutout for your SD card slot. So it's easily accessible. So if you have one SD card for Raspberry Pi OS and another one for uh, RetroPie or something like that, you can easily switch those out with this cutout here. Now here's some of the other accessories that you need to get started. You have your thermal pads, you have your mounting screws, and of course the rubber feet. And of course, you have the custom PCB with the full-size HDMI and audio jack. Now on the inside, of course, we have the fan, we have the GPIO port that also reorients the direction of your GPIO pins. Another great feature about the Argon One cases is that the GPIO pins are color-coded, so if you need to program some Arduino stuff or motors, what have you, you're all set. So now we're gonna get this all assembled. So the first thing you wanna do is connect the custom PCB to your Raspberry Pi 4. And all you wanna do is just line up the ports and push them in. So now everything is clean and on the back now. The next thing we wanna do is get the thermal pads installed. Let's get these out of here. Now these thermal pads do have plastic on either side, so you wanna make sure you peel that off. So I'm just gonna put this one on the CPU and get my knife and peel that top layer of plastic off. I am doing this this is terrible. <laughs> okay, come here. All right. You could use thermal paste with this. Just make sure you use a tiny amount of thermal paste. I mean a real tiny amount. All right, let's get this off. Why do you want to be difficult right now? Come on, son. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pardon the struggle.
All right, so the next thing we wanna do is mount this to the top of the case. And this is very easy. All we have to do is line up the GPIO pins with the port on the inside of the top of the case. So we're just gonna make sure everything is lined up correctly, which I didn't do. <laughs> and just push it down. It's looking real good. It's starting to look like something. <laughs> All right. Now, for mounting the PCB and the Pi on the top of the case, we actually want to use the short screws. Now, there are one, two, three, four of these. And we want to mount them here, here, here and here. Okay, so this is mounted. So the next thing we need to do is install the bottom plate. We're gonna use the long screws to mount the bottom plate. All right, this is assembled. Every time I look at an Argon 40 case, like I'm just always satisfied and content with the craftsmanship. Like everything just lines up so nicely. It looks very clean. Overall package just looks great. Next, we need to flash our micro SD card so that we can get this thing running Raspberry Pi OS. And then I can show you how to install the fan script. Okay, so now we have a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS. So now we need to install the fan script for the Argon One V2. So we're gonna open up terminal. And then we're gonna enter the following line. Curl space HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash download dot argon 40.com backslash argon one dot sh space pipe space bash now before i hit enter i just want to let you know that if you guys are using um the argon v2 case and you want to for example run ubuntu you can download the shell file and you'll have to um, install it via terminal that way. But I can show you that in another video. Let me know down in the comments. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm just going to hit enter. And it should download everything we need to get the fan script installed. All right, that's done. So we're going to hit reboot. All right, we are back up. And as you can see, the Argon One shortcuts are installed on the desktop. And now we have control over the fans. So by default, the fan will kick on at 10% speed when the CPU hits 55 degrees Celsius. When the CPU reaches 60 degrees Celsius, the fan will kick up to 55%. And when it reaches 65 degrees Celsius, the fan will jump up to 100% speed. So. Keep that in mind. Now, if you want to change the configuration of the fan, you can go into terminal or you can click the shortcut that's on the desktop and um, just click execute in terminal. You press Y. And from here, you can choose the behavior of the fan. So if you want the fan always on, just press one. And then the fan will turn on. Now, if you want to go back to the default behavior, you can press two, or you can just set a custom behavior any way you like. For now, I'm just going to hit two to go back to the default settings. And so again, at 55 degrees Celsius, I want to set it to 10%, so I'm just going to press 10. 60 degrees Celsius, I'm going to do 55%. And at 65 degrees Celsius, I'm going to do 100%. 
And I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan stopped and now everything is back to the default settings. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you assemble and set up the Argon One V2 for your Raspberry Pi 4. Again, I think the Argon One V2 is a fantastic case, only second to the Argon One M.2. I can highly recommend either of those cases. If you're someone who needs a M.2 slot, you obviously want to go for the M.2 version. Now, alternatively, you can buy the Argon One V2 and buy the bottom M.2 adapter plate separately if you want to switch between having an M.2 or just using the SD card slot. But either way, the cases are fantastic. This new V2 version, I mean, it's just spectacular. Here's another look at the rear panel I.O. Everything is smooth. The cutouts are spot on and it's just a fantastic case in general. If you want to pick up the Argon One V2, affiliate links will be down in the description box. If you found this video helpful or informative, please let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Raspberry Pi content, subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>